Hello everyone! Happy spooky season! So the other day I decided to go thrifting in the city, San Francisco, with a few of my friends. I haven't been thrifting in San Francisco probably since I lived there. I got to check out some of the best thrift stores, in my opinion, that we have, that have the best product typically. Of course, we were very safe, social distancing, and took proper precautions while thrifting of course. If you're curious about how to safely thrift and vintage shop, I did make a video on that and I will leave the link below. So this trip I was mostly focused on buying things for my Depop to resell. If you're interested in buying any of my old clothes or clothes that I'm reselling from thrifting adventures, you can check out my Depop here. I posted a lot of stuff recently and some of the items that I'm sharing with you today will be on there as well. Whatever I decide not to keep. So before I get into the haul, I will show you our little thrifting adventure over some music by my boyfriend. Welcome back. So as you can see, we got a lot of damage done. We went to three thrift stores. First, the Salvation Army on Geary Street in the Richmond District. Typically, I wouldn't recommend going to Salvation Army because they do fund anti-LGBT organizations, but this one is just really, really big and I haven't been there in quite a while. So I just wanted to check it out and I actually found some really, really good stuff. I ended up finding a couple things there that I think were probably the best finds of the day. The first thing, as you saw in the clips, were these Sutro boots. Now, Sutro is a San Francisco company that I actually just learned about maybe a week before I found them. These are worth $250, and for some reason someone donated them. And they're this really beautiful chocolate brown color, and as you can see, the branding is at the bottom and they're made in Mexico. Hopefully no slave labor is used. I'll have to confirm that they are a sustainable company, but I thrifted them for $12.99. I really, really want them to work for me because I think this is just insane that I found these. They're about half a size too small for me. I'm gonna try and make them work and if not, I will probably end up selling them. The last couple of things that I ended up getting at Salvation Army, Claire actually found my friend who's in the videos. The first one is this Patagonia pullover. It is so freaking soft. It is made of organic cotton. I wore it on a little walk along the marina with Sean and it was just absolutely perfect for the Bay Area weather. I'm probably gonna end up keeping this. 
This is only $7.99 and it's worth about $160 from what I could see online. So this was an incredible find. It was just a little too big for Claire, but it's perfect size for me. The last thing or things, I guess, were these tiny little bowls. They're these beautiful ceramic bowls and they're half half just the raw natural clay color and then the top half is glazed which i think is really really cute and they're in my colors they actually kind of match my outfit today these are just perfect because i've been wanting some tiny little bowls for sauces or condiments i believe they're 99 cents each so very very good find a lot less than i would have paid if i found them somewhere else eventually my friend rue met up with us and then we went to our next destination which was the Goodwill on Fillmore Street. That Goodwill in particular is always packed with amazing brands because it's just down the street from Crossroads. So if anything isn't purchased from Crossroads, they immediately just go and donate them to the Fillmore Goodwill. The first thing I found and that I ended up getting is this Madewell dress. It's a really cute kind of candy stripe with a purple lining and I actually tried it on. It's a little tight in the chest, so I'm probably gonna end up selling this one on Depop. The next thing I found is also made well. It's this really cute chambray wrap top. This is something I would absolutely keep, only it's an extra, extra small. So it's definitely a little tight on me. <laughs> so I will definitely be putting this on Depop, but this is just the cutest thing. Very versatile, you could wear it all year. But this is so cute, I really wish it fit. <laughs> And finally, the last thing that I found at the Goodwill and Fillmore, actually on my way to the checkout, <laughs> is this incredible Levi's jacket. It is like brand new. The denim wash is so, so beautiful. And there is a little bit of stretch to it. So there's a tiny bit of elastane. I just thought this was too good of a find to pass up. I don't know who would donate this. This is incredible. I have a lot of denim jackets. So I'll probably end up selling this, but it is just gorgeous. I'm definitely going to be putting that on my Depop as well. Finally, we hit up Community Thrift in the Mission District. I didn't actually buy anything there. I totally struck out, which is crazy because I've spent so much money there in the past. I left empty handed there, but my friends did find a couple of things. So it's a little overwhelming in there because it's so big. So you'd really have to do some digging to find some good stuff. I ended up leaving things behind and just was happy with the collection that I already made. And that's it. It was a really tiny haul for a very big trip, but I had an amazing time with my friends. I think the Salvation Army on Geary and the Richmond is one of the better thrift stores in San Francisco, as well as the Fillmore Goodwill. I definitely recommend those even though I, I try not to encourage anyone, of course, to go to Salvation Army. But if you have to go and if you're desperate, <laughs> they do have a lot of name brand stuff, as you can see from what I got there. I still prefer my East Bay thrifting. I thought I'd give the San Francisco thrifting a try, but when I lived there, I didn't feel like the thrifting scene was that good <laughs> compared to other places. Anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my friends for coming with me and driving us around. Also, thank you to my boyfriend, Sean Whitman, for providing the music for this video. I hope you all are enjoying spooky season so far as it just started, and I hope you're continuing to stay safe. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night or whatever time it is that you're watching this.